hey, dude, hey, get it's, coffee. It's, I, got I don't have any coffee. coffee. That's not fair. Why? Why? Because I forgot to get some. Well, doesn't Starbucks deliver by you? They deliver for me. No, they don't deliver. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they don't deliver. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You did get a delivery, though, pretty recently. Well, I got a delivery yesterday, as a matter of fact, which surprised me because mm -hmm. given all of the history of trying to get this delivery made, I was really surprised to see yesterday morning that it was going to show up yesterday because it didn't ship from Japan until late the day before. Wow. So it literally, now I know they're a day ahead of us, basically, mm -hmm. on the timeline. Yeah. But yeah. still, I mean. Yeah, I get all my lottery numbers from them because they're a day ahead. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what'd you get? But, what'd you but get? yeah, well, I got this little baby right here. P1610. P1620. What's the difference besides the number? What's the difference of the guts? The guts. And Ew. anybody who has seen my videos of the 1610 that I had for over a year mm -hmm. may be saying the same thing because it looks just like this. Mm -hmm. It looked just like this till I got rid of it. I sold it. <laughs> but this is the 1620, which is the refresh model. Right. right. And as you can see... It's about the same size as the as your EPC. It is. We've measured those before. We've, and it's we've a, measured them, and they're very real close. Real, real close. And that's why I was so excited about this when they refreshed it, because quite frankly, the only problem I started having with the 1610 was that it only had an old core solo processor, only one gig of RAM max available. Mm -hmm. It was too slow. Yeah. I mean... Even running XP, it wasn't as fast as I'd like it to be. Mm -hmm. um, so what Fujitsu did is they refreshed this as a 1620, and it now has a Core 2 Duo 1.2 gigahertz processor, mm -hmm. maximum of 2 gigs of RAM, which of course I have in this, and up to a maximum hard drive size of 100 gigabytes, which this has as well. So what's so, Fujitsu getting for the for the two gig upgrade? Because it normally comes with what five twelve to start. It's about. Um, it's like four hundred dollars. No, it's less than that. I think it's three something. Yeah, actually, it's, it's those micro dim chips. Like it, it's it's a single chips. micro dim, and yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, it wasn't even available in the two gig capacity until late last year. Anywhere. Yeah. Nobody made them. They had the macro dims that were like a foot long. Those didn't work at all. <laughs> yeah, especially not in this, right? <laughs> but this is, uh, I mean, I'm really, I was really excited and was waiting very patiently for this to arrive. Mm -hmm. As patient you can tell from JK on the run. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, look at that. As you know, with your EPC, I mean, there's no better form factor to be highly mobile like I am. Mm -hmm. To me, than this. Yep, I agree. See I agree. there? I agree. It's let's check it for size. Hold it there. Post. Yeah, see, it's about the same yeah. size. About yep. the same size. Yep. yep. I use about this for framing size. the videos. But it's cool. Now on the front of this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold it. You got a bump this there. Way. I I ordered it standard with the six cell extended battery okay. because I know from experience that I'll get at least five hours of battery life out of this battery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I also ordered, which I don't have handy here, a second one. Because you know me, I always get the second battery, just like this. Sure. So I'll, I carry that battery in my bag, so I've got 10 to 12 hours mm -hmm. between the two. I mean, that's all. That's you, can't really, you, you can't truly hot swap that. You could hibernate. It's and not hot swappable. Nice. I have to hibernate. Right. And... And that's the only part of this that I don't like. But, I mean, hey, you know, I'll, I'll pay the price to, to be able to not have to carry an adapter with me. Sure. So what sets this apart, however, from your EPC mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is this. Yeah. Let's go to the screen. Let's go to the screen. And it's switching around. As I could do that with the E, but I can only do it once. That's the problem. It switched around. Yep. JK on the run. Oops. 
Ooh, it's really? moving. It's mobile device, see? So it's it's a touchscreen tablet PC, correct? Touchscreen tablet PC, and I'm happy to report, a lot of people are asking about this, mm -hmm. the palm rejection technology from the 1610, which in my opinion was the best in the industry, mm -hmm. is just as good and the same as it is. So you, you, can't, you can't put this on the screen then, is what you're saying? Put what on the screen? The oh, palm. the palm rejection. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, what that means is, the for me, the inking experience here is just as good for taking notes, particularly in OneNote, as it was on the 1610. And in my opinion, I was always comfortable with that versus an active digitizer device like the HP I've been using. It, it works fine. Now, and this with the touch screen also has the advantage of being able to manipulate stuff with my fingertips here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the touch it actually, it, it's a hard touch, isn't it? It's not. It, it's hard and which it has to be yeah. to, so you can ink without vectoring. Right. But all I have to do really is just tap on the screen with my fingernail. And I just went to a different link on the website. Mm -hmm. Sumo cat scribbles. Good stuff. Inking. Ink, ink blogging extraordinaire. And so what I'm finding very quickly, it took me all of about 15 minutes to get back into the mm -hmm. the habit of manipulating it with my finger. Mm -hmm. they, not even pulling this out of my pocket. Just boom. I mean, it's... That's not the it's standard just, stylus we should point out, right? No, no, no. This mm -hmm. is my Lamy 4-in-1, which I love. It's uh, got four tips on it, but how, and one of the them stylus, is a. How's the stylus is a stylus. Kind of with it? The stylus is great. It's just like writing with a pen. How about the one that comes with Wonderful. the Fuji, though? The one that comes with the Fuji? Is it all right? Did you see that pop out? Yeah, I heard it pop out. There it is. There it is. I mean, it's a typical little plastic stylus. It's actually very usable. I, I, as a rule, I don't like these. I can use this one fine. Okay. Um, 